You've written a lot about conservation. You are a conservationist. Um, you touch on a few different, you, you, a few different topics. Is there any one that stands out near and dear to your heart? Yeah, I do. Conservationist is, is something I strive to be. Yeah. I think um, if I can advocate for conscious mm -hmm. living through my writing, then I already feel like I've achieved mm -hmm. something I can be proud of. Um, I think for me, it's the ocean. Me. Mm -hmm. As much as I've done work with seals of Nam um, against the clubbing of 85,000 baby seals in Namibia annually, um, I've done work with uh, rhino conservation projects. You know, and I'm, I'm always quick to pick up a placard and stand outside Parliament to propose fracking or whatever it might be mm -hmm. because I am naive or maybe idealistic and then I believe it can help uh, make a difference. But, but for me, it's really the ocean. I, you know, I, I fear for the ocean. Um, I don't think people have the same emotional connection with a fish that they would with a with lion an or an elephant yeah. or, or maybe with a whale because they've been somewhat romanticized. But you know, I, when I read that um, the bluefin tuna was more endangered than um, a tiger and yet no one really seems to care, oh, then mm. I gave up fish immediately. Um, and I just, I just know that I'm not saving the world, but it's that whole thing about, you know, if you pick up a, a little starfish and throw it back in the ocean, what difference does it make? Well, it makes a difference to that starfish. And so mm -hmm. I, I think that if I can just spread the word about keeping the oceans clean, um, the problem with overfishing, the, you know, the fact that we really, um, we really should be asking about what fish we're eating. You know, WWF Sassy do a lot of good work with their mm -hmm. program, um, encouraging people to only eat off their, their green list. So there are yeah. things that we can all do, you know, and the waste. I mean, I'm actually really kind of nasty about the whole thing. If I go out and people order fish and don't eat the whole fish, I'm like, you know, there's a 45%, you know, to be more people like you in restaurants. <laughs> you know, what, how many fish died so you can have that little piece that you're not even eating? So, no, it's very, it's very difficult to mm. live with me. But, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I think that's the ocean. I, lo I just love the mm -hmm. ocean. And people just seem to throw garbage in. And yeah. So uh, there's a beach cleanup every month that I try and get to. Um, anything like that. That's great. Just, yeah, it's just kind of it's just constantly creating that awareness. Mm -hmm. Now, where are you off to next? Um, well, I, I have two trips. I have a local mm -hmm. trip starting tomorrow. Uh, flying up with two other bloggers, um, Di Brown, who who actually blogs as the Roaming Giraffe, and um, a, a wonderful girl called Linda, who blogs as Moving Sushi. Mm -hmm. And the three of us with SA Tourism are doing what they call a shot left trip. Shot left is the domestic tourism term that they've coined. It's if you're in a taxi and you just want to turn to the one side, you'll be like, could you just shot left to the right? Okay. So they've kind of used this <laughs> as a don't stay on the main track, shot left to the left, the right, explore, mm -hmm. find out what's in our country. So we've done some work with them before and we're going to the Kakadu district, which is in the Eastern Cape. We're hiking near Jeffrey's Bay. We're doing um, surf lessons, which is going to be really funny. Uh, we're doing <laughs> have you surfed before? No, no, I'm a swimmer, but I mean, I don't think I have the balance. But I'm going to take my GoPro just to entertain oh, everyone. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> um, and we're just doing just a lot of trekking. We're walking uh, five kilometers along the beach, picking up garbage in mm -hmm. one specific area. We're visiting a lot of recycling programs. So it has quite a good environmental theme to it. And just showcasing what some of the local projects are, are busy with. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to Switzerland. Exciting. Yay. I know for the first time um, on a six-day trip with um, yeah with with the airline. Um, so yeah, I know life is pretty amazing actually. Yeah. Now, do you um, do you prefer well? Do you travel alone often, or do you prefer to travel? What's what are the differences? Yes, it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> You may need to sense this. Thing, but I love traveling on my own. Yeah, me too. I really do. Um, and if I'm not traveling on my own. I've really had such great fun traveling with other travel writers or bloggers. Yeah. And you learn so much from each other. And it's interesting that you can take a whole bunch of people to the same place and give them the same experience and we're all going to write a different story about it because we all have our own voices and our own ideas about things. Um, that's always great fun. But I think traveling on my own, I speak to more strangers. I have a lot more freedom. Um, I. 
you know, I can spend an hour speaking to a fisherman about whether there's any catch when he goes out in the morning or whatever it is that I mm -hmm. want to do. So, um, and, I, and I think that I really absorb, it's kind of introspective. So I think I travel to learn and I'm humbled by travel. And if I'm traveling on my own, then that's a certainty.